Go. Hello. Today we're going to do a gentleman's short back and sides. The first thing to do is to gown up your client so they're fully protected from all the hair that is going to be cut. Then you've got to ensure that you've got all your equipment. So we've got your scissors, your thinning scissors, comb, clippers and mini clippers. You can also use water to help you control the hair. First of all, we've got to decide what guard we're going to choose for the gentleman. This gentleman requires a number two guard. The guard slips onto the clippers like so. This lever shows how close or not as close you'd like. For this client, he likes it quite short, so we'll put the lever to close. Now comb all the hair downwards and take your clippers, turn them on, hold them at the nape of the neck, apply slight pressure and go upwards towards the occipital bone, which is this bone here which slightly protrudes from the client's head. So carry on with this till you've completed all the back bits. Now you can slightly flick the clippers out, which will help when you're blending later on. Now we then go over the ears, like so. Now what we've got to remember when we're going over the ears, the ears can move, so to get any unwanted hair, like these little bits here, you can just move the ear out of the way. Now once all your clipper work's done, you can wet the hair because it's then easily manageable for you. Then select your scissors and starting at the back of the head. At 90 degree angle, so that's straight out, cut the hair. Now carry this right the way down. And then carry this technique on around the head. So taking it at 90 degrees at the back. And as you get to the sides, you can slightly keep 90, but then as you go down, hold it out more at like a 45 degree angle. So carry this out throughout the haircut. Now you've cut all the client's hair, what we're going to do is blend the clipper line with where you've cut. We're going to do this by scissor over comb. Now we place the client's head slightly down and you take your comb, place it onto the hair, slightly angled out so you'll see what needs cutting. And now you move the comb up the hair and cut as you move. This technique is quite hard because you have to do two things at once. So you're moving the comb up the hair and cutting as you go. Now this is to get rid of that clipper line. Now all the blending is completed, as you can see all around the head, the line that the clipper has made, we've all blended in with our scissor over comb. We're going to remove any bulk from the client's hair. Bulk is like 
when a client has a lot of thickness. This can happen in gents at the back of their hair. The bulkness on this client's hair is at the back. You can see it here. And we remove this with our thinning scissors. Now we take our comb, like we did with scissor over comb, and we move it up. Gently pressing our scissors as we go. Now thinning scissors are not like normal scissors as they've got these little grooves in. Yeah. These grooves mean they remove just half the hair instead of the full hair shaft. So we work throughout the client's hair, removing any thickness. Now we've completed removing the bulk from the client's hair so it's more manageable, we're going to neaten the edges of the haircut around the back, neck and round the ears. We do this by using mini clippers. Mini clippers have small blades so they're easier to move around client's ears and you get a neater line. Right, so we'll start round for the sideburns and round the client's ears. We do this by turning on the clippers. You want to take, just apply pressure and take it into where the client's face is. And you get a neat line. We'll then go round the ears. We do this by moving the client's ear out of the way and applying pressure around the ear and taking off all this unwanted hair. We then take this technique down the hair to the nape of the neck. We do this by pressing slightly on in the diagonal. So now you can see from where the ear is down to the nape of the neck, we've got a nice straight diagonal line. Now we've created the two diagonal lines, we're going to level off on the net. So what we, we do this by turning the clippers on, applying slight pressure and pulling downwards. This creates a nice short straight line so the client has a need to haircut. The next stage is to check your client's haircut for any unwanted long hairs. We can do this by holding our fingers upwards and checking it by feel. Or we can go to the side, comb the hair backwards and look in our mirror. Now we can see we've got some slightly longer hairs in the middle. So we can comb them backwards and using our eye, cut them off. and always check in your mirror for the unwanted hairs so all the hair cut is even now the hair cut is completed we're going to wash the client's hair so first of all you have to brush all unwanted hair from the client's face, head and neck. When washing the client's hair we've got to ensure that a towel is around their neck and we lean the client back and ensure that they're comfortable. Check the water on the back of your hand, on the palm of your hand, whichever you find best and apply, apply the water.
hold the shower head towards the basin to avoid wetting the client's face and round the ears cuff so the water doesn't get in the client's ears we then take one squirt of shampoo and thoroughly rub the client's head We then rinse the shampoo off and repeat. The next stage is to put, apply conditioner to, apply it to the client's head and massage. After applying conditioner, we must massage the scalp. This stimulates it to be, produce sebum which ensures that the hair and scalp is nice and healthy. After massaging the scalp, rinse thoroughly. Now you've washed and conditioned your client's hair, check the hair cut again. So we run our fingers through it and check in your mirror. That seems all right. So now start dry and style as desired. Now you've completed a gentleman's short back and sides.